you cut it. Hockey just wasn't meant to be played in beautiful weather, like 25 or 30 degrees. Now, on the surface, that's no big deal, because we've been playing ice hockey in warm weather climates for years, the southern United States in the NHL being a great example. However, here in India, they had one additional complication. Where do you find someone who's an expert in making artificial ice in a country that has virtually no artificial ice? So the call went out for an ice master, and the call went to New York, and the ice man cameth. Vyacheslav Koznuk, an American immigrant from Belarus. He got into ice making a few years ago, and he is as surprised as anyone to be here. Uh, I was actually at work, and I had a person come up to me and be like, would you like to go to India to make ice? I'm like, who are you? <laughs> Now, Slava expected a few complications, most of them pretty obvious. And then, the not quite so obvious, like having to drive the Zamboni in partial darkness at times while they switch the electricity from the main power grid over to the generator. Uh, it's really the warm weather. It's, uh, they have relatively high humidity at all times. Uh, so it's a little difficult with the insulation that they have to maintain it warm. I mean, to maintain it cool, to keep it from getting warm. But uh, other than that, it's just like making ice. It's almost the same, just about everywhere. After a touchy start, they were waiting to make sure there was enough of a top layer of ice over top of the paint for the lines. It's been all good. The players have been very happy with the ice. And Slava has even gotten into the local driving customs. Signal. I use my blinkers. That's an Indian way of warning them. And I learned that from the six-hour ride from Delhi to here. How everyone uses their high beams to signal and honk. A lot of honking. Can't do that in New York. You get a lot of tickets. <laughs> ah, driving in India. That's another story.